Okay, so I'm here with Marcus Oates. Ots? Ots. Ots. Like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Legend of the White Eye Breaks. Thank you to uh, thank you for joining us. Congratulations yeah, for your thank film. Thank you very much. Yeah. And welcome to to Warsaw. Um, I know we've met before, but this is the first time we have this film here. Yes. Please tell me what I know. I've seen it. What is the film about? Um, it's about um, a man who's uh, he has a burnout, and they have uh, every night he has his nightmares, and mm -hmm. there's always a white ibex who saves him from the from the to go down over the cliff, and um, he lose um, he lose the job. Yeah. And uh, he have an, a strange encounter with a woman. Yeah. Who, who told him from a story about um, about um, an old soldier. Yeah. Uh, who uh, also goes in search of the white ibex. Yeah. And he has to make the same to go over his problems. And at last he decides to go in search of this white ibex. So yeah, I know uh, when we were talking, I know when you was in London, this was like a pipe dream. Uh, or kind of, you were put, starting to put this film together, I, I, I believe, or the, this film was happening. But um, just give us an idea of, I know because you were the, Wearing many hats, we would say. So you were making a film, you were the cinematographer, um, and you were, I think you were going to explain, I assume that the big, the big help for that is it saves time and it saves money and it helps you put, put the film together more quickly. I, I'm not entirely sure. Not sure. The first problem was uh, we don't have domestic uh, Ibex. That's the first problem. No? You didn't find them so, and they don't do what, what you want. No, <laughs> no. So I, I, we I, say herding cats. Yeah. That's what you want. Okay. <laughs> I went five times on mountains, no, without finding no no ibex. Right. And then the last, uh, and then was a uh, sixth. Uh, I, I changed um, the mountain. Yeah. Uh, so there was no no possibility to find ibex. And then the last three times I go to the mountains, I have found a very, very um, how do you say, um, um, collaboratory. Uh, ibex. <laughs> a collaborative yeah. ibex. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's it's a it's a very unusual theme in terms because your last film was quite to me was quite surreal in, in a way it was beautifully yeah. shot but what drove you to make this the centerpiece of the film because it's it's different it's very different. Yes, so it's very different. Okay, first was I, I, I go to the mountain filming ibex because I like as a naturalistic documentary. You know. Yeah. Uh, as you don't find the ibex, you begin to think it's maybe it's, it's a legend. It's a no? legend. It's yeah. A legend. And uh, and um, and the ibex in a legend uh, have to be white. No. Then was the pr the problem of uh, cinema uh, when you make uh, a movie, you need to to make the the, the life of the protagonist. Uh, have to change com completely from yeah. down to high or from high to down. No? Yeah. And so how make that uh, a man goes up to the mountain searching the, the ibex and so uh, the, the story begins to, to grow and, um, and so, but what's best uh, as a, um, a man who is in burnout as a nightmare and the, uh, there is always a white ibex that uh, helps him and uh, saves him from, the, from going down to the cliff. No? Yeah. Um, and the rest comes up so no, and as we made a co-founding of our uh, for to to um, I would say to um, uh, to support this idea, uh, I understand that in my country I can make a crowdfunding not more than over fifteen thousand Swiss francs, and so I checked the the thing to to ask for this money for twenty eight minutes of a short movie uh, to send to the festival no. After that, the, um, the story grew at Elso that we, I decided to take all the money to make only the film shooting and uh, the editing and all the rest and the insonorization so was uh, uh, apart, no? So, mm. how do you, I mean, I, I know this started with you looking for the Ibex, which is very difficult to yeah. find for the documentary, but how do you go from that to producing a story that's connected. Do you understand what I mean? Because you have this idea, but now what you want to do is make a story. The Does story, that make sense? Uh, yeah, so yeah, how, do you, yeah, how did you tie yeah. that together? Uh, okay, uh, when you go up to the mountain, you, the, the, you go slow on the mountain. And yeah. also you're, you're thinking, you're, you're, you're living, goes, slows down, and you're really time to, uh, to think about many things, to think about yourself, to grow inside yourself. 
and when you go up to the mountain, you are always um, uh, near to the sky and to the universe and a to, needle to, to the, the gods, sky. I like that. To the gods. Okay, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, and um, it was written in a powerful story because uh, you can't reach an ibex. Ibex, they are so they go so. They're incredible. The I mountain. know they're incredible, yeah. and they just jump yeah. up and fly up, don't yes. they? Because they're balanced. In one second, they, they they disappear, and so you don't. Uh, you are not sure if it was reality what you saw or, or, or it's, a, it's a, um, a dream. But, ha but where, I guess what I'm trying to get at is you, you're having these ideas, you're going into the mountains, you've been inspired by the legend of the Ibex, but then you've got to create a story around that. That's what I'm saying. Is, yeah. But where, does that, where did that idea, is that just from you walking into the mountains and you, an idea crosses your mind or do you have an inspiration from something else? Oh, I have the inspiration. So it's a, it's a really a big story mm. uh, because there is ancestral inside you, and um, is um, is um, a deep descent into into your uh, how do you say aim? No, into your soul. Yeah, uh, that is the power of the story because really uh, you you go uh, down inside your soul in an incredible uh, manner. Right. Okay. Because yeah, it's. It's like your previous film, it's beautifully shot, but, um, and that's, I know you're doing this, of course you're doing this in cinematography. Uh, the advantage you have, of course, is you live in a wonderful country. Yeah, sure. In one hour we are from, from, um, you say, on, from the plain to the mountain, to the peaks. It's, uh, we spoke earlier about the costs, the finance, we know mm. in Switzerland it's very expensive. I'm assuming it would make no difference if you shot the film in France or over in Italy because th this is made in Switzerland right yes totally. but I guess if you left the country would make it would it make any difference to the cost of shooting yes. or not really mm. no there is a difference okay shooting is or is ev uh, in every country is very expensive no? yeah uh, clear when you have to to uh, the food and all this it's very expensive you have all the crew and um, uh, in this 15,000 we take the, there was for everybody was food there that never spent um, a cent who walked around this this movie okay I have I, I, I can do uh, um, a bigger part of the crew yeah maybe now we are I'm here alone but you have uh, five components of the crew <laughs> Marcus, you should make, it, make your film in Poland. Now, also, I have a vision, and always also to tell the vision to other people is not it's not the same. I I followed exactly the idea of the story who I had. I had really this story full in my mind, and uh, also when I when I uh, speak it over the story, as I told the story. Uh, you can ask, you can ask my, my wife, she's my producer, no? And I really have made the same as I told that the story wants to be. She's the smart one, right? Yes, you know, she's the big producer. She's the big cheese. <laughs> I can do this, uh, this work, this job, because I have she. She's really uh, there for me. And, and I think also you, because do you work with wood as well, Marcus? Also, yeah. You had, do you have a company? I might, I may, forgive me if I'm mixing you up with someone else, but you work in wood as well, is that correct? I, I had an idea factory over 30 years, yeah. and the idea was to have an idea factory to make everything a creative mind need, and they don't, maybe they have an idea and they don't find this in, in a business, in a commercial business usual. And, and so I make from animatronics to uh, Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's all kinds of. Material. Okay. Yeah. Right. So the, you're the new HR Giga, is that right? <laughs> oh, maybe. Well, he's maybe. Swiss. He's yeah. Swiss. <laughs> Brilliant artist. Yeah. He wants an Oscar. He won an Oscar. <laughs> that he reluctantly signed up to that film, yeah. but that's another story. Um, so of course, what's next? Uh, okay. Uh, the Legend of the White Ibex was a bridge work after Alone. There was no, uh, which no, I love no, without, without dialogue. Yeah. It was very short. And this is my my first um, serious work uh, with uh, with actors with dialogues. No, and there's a really bridge uh, job because next I have to make a film, a movie, a full movie. Uh, what a feature! Yeah, a fiction, a future. Oh, good actually. luck. When For one one hundred minutes uh, okay. minimum. Okay. No. And, and have you started? 
I have the, the script? idea. You have the idea? So I have just to copy what I have in mind on paper, no? because the, the beats are, are done. And now I want to make all the, um, how do you say, all the screenplay, uh, the full screenplay, and that's the storyboard. And so I have the project really full uh, done, yeah. uh, because uh, I need more money to, to make s uh, something like that. And maybe I, think that I find the producer if I have all uh, completely done. No? It's all about the money. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh. Listen, thank mm. you very much for that. That's nice. Thank, thank you. Lovely. Thank you.